I'm still gonna have a good week. Everybody loses, I'm still still having a good week. Cause we still in it by one game. God damn it. Jason fucking Garrett, seriously? Is that what y'all went through for 10 years? Is that what y'all went through for 10 years? Exactly, but we actually had a good team. What? What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. We're about 50 minutes away from the kickoff of the Eagles versus the New York Giants, and I'm hoping that the spirit of Rashid can help save us. And that's where we are as Dallas Cowboy fans. We are literally hoping and praying that somebody else will save our ass. And I I make no bones about it. I I ain't too proud. I ain't too proud to beg. But I'm going to say that some of the problems that we had in that game, we went toe for toe uh, in that game, even though we had some issues. We definitely had some issues. Uh, Chimo Igoto, Lord knows, in the fourth quarter, man, that guy, oh, Lordy, literally let Nick Chubb literally go unblocked, completely unblocked. In the fourth quarter, and I don't know what he was thinking. I don't know if he just didn't know his assignments. You know, it's one thing to have a poor block. It's another where you just are in the wrong location, and that's exactly what he did. And this is the kind of stuff that gets your quarterback killed and definitely loses games. I want to show you because I've gotten so many um, – of the idiots out there that are anti-Dak people that have been literally saying, see, I told you, Dak just sucks. Dak lost this game. Dak did not lose this game. We lost this game as a team. And let's just take a look here. I just want to show you. These are two plays in the fourth quarter, okay? 71, 71 to the right center um, is Igota. I don't know what he was thinking. He's got, of course, a man lined up over the tackle, excuse me, over the guard. You got Nick Chubb outside. Now, watch this play. I want you to watch this because this is crazy. Look at this. All right, so he's got a man outside. Look, and he here's the thing. He sees him. He sees him, and look. You got, of course, Biotish is taking uh, the, the the tackle. You got Mozzie right there. Oh, excuse me, not Mozzie, Tyler right there. And he's got that. Now, what I think may have happened is he's thinking that he's, I, I don't know what he's thinking because I, I honestly, I don't know what he's thinking because now I think he's looking at 51 and thinking I've got to go down on 51 and I'm leaving that guy for somebody else. And there is nobody. That is... Tyler Smith's man. And so here you have it. Look, Dak literally just got back there. And look at where Chubb is. Look at this. And people like, you know, people like, oh, he's got a man open. Yeah, he had a man open here on the right-hand side. But he's got literally, he is being run down from behind. And this is the problem that we see. People will take a snap pack, snap uh, pitcher and say, look, this guy over here, he's open. Yeah, but look at where Dak Prescott is going. Dak Prescott is literally running for his life. Let, let me back this up again just a little bit here because look, all right, as soon as the play goes, Dak's got the ball. He looks over here, and he feels the pressure. Thank God he feels the pressure. He knows I got to get out of here right now, and people are saying he's holding on to the ball too long. Are you serious? Look at this. He's trying to get rid of that thing as quick as possible and trying to make a play. But if that were the only one, you'd say, okay, that's all right. Now, look at this. Let's watch another one. Here we are down on the goal line. We got help outside. Tight end is releasing. Please tell me what Agoda is doing. You got all the help inside, and you're helping inside more and letting Nick Chubb go. And now you're looking outside. Look at this. Dak hasn't even gotten his step. This is freaking insane. Look at this. Dak's under center. Boom. Step. Fakes the dive. He hasn't even step set to try and make a pass. 
And look where dude is. Look at that. Holy shit. Yeah. Takes the sack. You going to blame that on the quarterback? You going to blame that on the quarterback? Quarterback didn't even have a chance to step up. Didn't have a chance to get rid of the ball. Didn't have a chance to run. When a guy gets a free rush, he's just lucky that he still has his wits about him. He is lucky to still have his wits about him. And that right there goes straight up on Agoda. Now, and, and here's what's kind of crazy, because uh, looking at the pro football focus grades, what they graded out, and I don't know if that's going to be worth a hill of beans or not, but here's the thing. Egota, um, Tyler Smith, and Peyton Hendershot all graded out under 50%. All under 50%. Sorry, bro. You can't expect to win. You can't expect to win if your offensive line is doing that. And it's not so much, you know, it's not so much that they were outmanned as it was, he just didn't know the assignments. If he had just gotten in the way and just slowed him down for just a step, then maybe Dak is able to get the play off and, and make a play or something. But when you're you know, when you're literally that bad. Bro, there ain't nothing the quarterback can do. I don't care if you're Pat Mahomes or not. You letting defensive ends have a free charge on your quarterback, you expect to lose the ball or lose yardage at the very minimum. And we've got to do better. Now, here's maybe the good news. We don't know exactly what happened with Tyron Smith backing up, if it's just back spasms and, you know, that it's something that will heal up without major work or anything like that. We'll have to wait and see. Um, maybe you go to getting a little bit more work or at least know my ass is supposed to take the guy on the outside. Okay. And maybe that'll get a little bit better. And I don't expect that Tyler Smith is going to have, um, you know, games that were graded out that poorly. And of course, Peyton Hendershot is just getting back out on the field. So you've got like a whole convergence of a lot of different things. Now going against the lions, Man, we got Hutchinson that's going to be out there. If Agoda does this stuff, Dak Prescott may not be able to finish the season, and that is actually a fact. So we have got to do better. Those guys got to be looking in the mirror today and saying, my bad, and I got to do a whole lot better before next week. All righty, good people. I'm going to finish getting set up here uh, for the live stream to watch the Eagles hopefully lose and hope that my buddy Rashid – He's got just enough in here for us. Oh, man. Hope you all are having a Merry Christmas, and I'll see you here in less than an hour. Peace.